you can't give me absolution? No, Kay, I cannot. Well, why not? I mean, I said I was sorry, and I did what I did was wrong. What you did went far beyond wrong, Kay. You embraced evil. But you're a priest. I mean, it's your job to forgive me for that. I can only grant absolution if I believe you will avoid the same sin in the future and not take advantage of the opportunities your deal with the dark side has left in its wake. What are you talking about? Can you honestly tell me that once Charity is in heaven, you will not try to make Miguel your own? I'm sorry, Father. I still don't understand what you're saying. I mean, if Miguel is alone and there's no one else here for him, then what would be wrong with the two of us getting together? I am so terribly disappointed in you, Kay. <sighs> Why? What did I do this time? You simply refuse to acknowledge that you are the one responsible for Miguel being alone. If you had not made a deal with the forces of evil, Miguel and Charity would be together now. Perhaps even married, living a happy life. The only possible way I can grant you absolution is if you promise me that before you start any relationship with Miguel, you will tell him everything you have done. Everything, Kay. Father, if I told Miguel everything I'd done, he'd hate me. No, I, I can't do that. Then I cannot offer you absolution. All I can do is offer you penance, and it is to tell Miguel the truth. Then, and only then, can I offer you absolution? Goodbye, my love. My only love. I'll never love anyone else. Thank you. Stress is definitely a possibility. I don't know about the neck one. You're wasting your time. So you keep saying. I love the length of these gloves. You will never marry Luis. <sighs> if you think you're going to spoil this for Well, for me, starters, you don't deserve him. I'm not listening. You are a horrible girl, Beth. And my mother? Yes. Yes, that's why I've been praying for Sheridan to come back from the dead. Come back to Harmony. I'm going to marry Louise. He loves me, and I love him. And you can pray all you want. Oh, well. <laughs> Nothing is going to bring Sheridan back, okay? She's gone, and I've got Louise. Oh, Lucy. Blessed angels. Hear my prayer, bring Sheridan Crane back to life. Send her back to Harmony. Don't let Beth marry Luis. No, sir. Mm -mm. <laughs> now it's official. <laughs> I'll just hold it by hand. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Because as soon as the race is over, I'm going to take you out and get you a proper name. That man... I was going to marry him, and I can't even remember his name. Who was he? I just had a thought. I thought we weren't supposed to do any of the thinking stuff until tomorrow. Tonight is just for this. Yeah, but you have done so much for me. Uh, you give me a wonderful birthday. Now it's my turn to give back, do something for you. No, Brian. Brian! His name is Brian, and I was Diana. I remember everything. Oh, God, Louise. 
What am I gonna do? How am I gonna tell him that I fell in love with another man while I was missing a man that I'm engaged to marry? <gasps> a coincidence. Shared and clean on the same flight as Antonio and Diana. Strange, though. Can't find her name on the passenger list. Sheridan, you're not gonna believe this, but... Hey. <laughs> hey, what's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. You remember something from the time you were missing? Huh? Where you were? Who you were with? There's the cottage. Changed a lot since we lived there. Can't imagine what Diana would be doing in there, but we'll find out. I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places and kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet. Knock it off, Mother. Now. Okay, I am going to check a couple things online. No wedding. No wedding! And no Louise. If it's the last thing I do, I will stop it! I will! Something is definitely wrong. What is it? It's... Oh, hey, someone sent you an instant message. All right, it can wait. Just tell me what's bothering you. It's just that I... You know, I need to think things through. I, I just have to get my thoughts together. Go check your message while I get my head organized. <laughs> really, go on. What are you doing online, future husband? Where are you? At home, going through my bridal magazines, starting to plan our wedding. I'll be right over. Can't wait to see you. Luis is on his way over. So I don't want you going on and on about Sheridan coming back or any other crazy thing you might dream up. It's just gonna upset him. You understand? <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Cause nothing is going to stop me. I won't let you marry Luis. I won't let you. There's nothing you can do about it. Sheridan is dead. Luis is mine. That's just the way it is. Well, you had better work a miracle here. You better bring Sheridan back to life, back to Luis's life. Hey, everything okay? Yeah. Like I said, I just, I have to put a few things together in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few things I gotta put together myself. Yeah. You leaving? 
Well, yeah, I, I got something. It's kind of important. I take care of. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, I just uh, I have to go talk to someone, and then, uh, uh, well, then I'll come back, and you and I'll sit down, and we'll have a nice talk. Mm. Yeah, but just a few things I need to tell you. Yeah, um, just a few things I need to tell you too. Okay. Time to see if Diane is here. Listen to me, Kay. There is always a consequence for our actions. If you want absolution, then you must tell the truth. But the consequence of that truth could be that you lose any chance to be with Miguel. So your choice is either to continue with your lies and perhaps be with Miguel, or lose your soul. Think about it, Kay. Father Ryan, it's Jessica. Can I help you? Take me to your parents, dear. Ready? I'm here. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about my I'm sorry that our dreams of getting married and starting a family can't come true. Don't be sorry. I wouldn't trade a second of the time I've had with you. I love you with all my heart. <clears throat> Even though we were in the club, I, I know it would have been so wonderful because of the love that we share. You all right? person in the world would be mad. I miss everything I dreamed. Me too. It was better than I dreamed it would be. Miguel? What is it? No, I don't want to leave, but, uh, support you. I'll be back soon. Okay. I'll be waiting. Okay. You know, second thought, I can get you off that easily. Is that better? Mm, I tried. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's go for Dylan. Jerry, I love you so much. And I want you to know that I would never do anything to intentionally hurt you. Oh. Yeah. But I know how much you love me. I feel it. He's felt it. And I hope, I hope that you can feel the love that I've always had for you. Diana? Julian thought you might be here, but I didn't believe him. Ryan, you're here. I thought I just heard the back door close with someone here, would you? Yeah, but they, they just left. Oh my gosh, I missed you. <laughs> oh. 
thought you were going to give it us a hotel room. What, how'd you end up here? I'm here because this is my home. What? This cottage is mine. How, how can this cottage be yours? We're on the train to stay. Yeah. Uh, I don't quite know how to tell you this. I've remembered my connection to the Cranes. Did you work for them or something? <laughs> no, I... I don't work for them. I am them. I'm Sheridan. My name is Sheridan Crane. That's Louise. Now remember, you're not to mention Sheridan. You'll just upset me. Well, I certainly don't want to upset Louise. Just you, little missy. Hey. Hi. Hey. That's it? No big kiss hello for the bride to be? Oh. <laughs> mm. 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 Mother, look who's here. Ha. Hello, Mrs. Wallace. Hello, how lovely to see you. <laughs> it's nice to see you too. And that is a beautiful nightgown. <laughs> oh, thank you. Do you, do you. do you like it? <laughs> I just hope I don't soil it. Hey, I have got so much to tell you and show you. I've got all these wonderful ideas about the wedding. You know how they say, um, something borrowed? Well, I'm borrowing everything. <laughs> okay, what do you think about October? It's my favorite month of the year, and I know it's only a couple months away, which means I'm going to have to rush all my planning, but I think it could work out so perfectly, don't you? Beth, look, there's something we need to talk about, all right? I smell trouble in paradise. You can't tell me there's no hope, Dr. Russell. She was talking to us. You know, maybe Charity's body can recover. I wish that was so, Miguel. But her body was just so badly damaged from being frozen and then from being thawed out again. Her organs are traumatized. It hurts beyond repair. I'm not giving up. No matter what you say. I understand that, honey. And I'm so sorry. You know we did everything in our power to, to save Charity. At some point you're going to have to accept... Look, I'm, I'm not blaming you, Dr. Russell. I just, I just think that... It... I don't know what I think anymore. You know, for Charity to, to summon up the strength to regain consciousness so that she could say her goodbyes is just such a tribute to the kind of person that she is. She's the best. Yeah. Yeah. She was the best. And soon, we're all going to be left with these beautiful memories. No. <laughs> Cut it out of a bridal magazine, what do you think? Of what? The dress, silly. For your mother. I thought it'd be perfect for her to wear to the wedding. It's beautiful, okay? Yeah. Uh, now, okay, look. Getting back to what I came here to talk about, right? If it's not good news, I don't want to hear about it. Just tell me after the wedding, okay? <laughs> I think your little fantasy wedding is finished before it even started. Sheridan Crane? Yes. Uh, but how, how or uh, when did you realize this? Just a little while ago. 
Welcome home. You had amnesia for so long. Yeah, amnesia. So it just came upon you just like that, huh? With your identity. Remembering Luis made me forget Brian. But now I remember everything. Everything. So you've still got the washer. You were right. About what? You said that when you remembered your past, that you wouldn't forget about your love. Our love. Our engagement. You know, I gotta tell you, when I first got my memory back, I didn't remember you or the island. So tell me about when you remembered. Tell me when you remembered about me. Just a few minutes ago, it all came flooding back. You, our time on the island, everything. What? I have to admit to you that I was a little afraid. I was afraid that when you got your memory back and you realized who you were, that you wouldn't love me anymore. You wouldn't care. Me? What about you? You were always talking about the cranes, how much you hate them. I know. I know, I, I did say that. Well, I'm a crane. Can you even still love me now, knowing that I'm one of them? Can I? Yes. I can. You're... You're Sheridan. You're beautiful. You're not like the rest of them. No, no one or nothing is going to ever come between us. We're going to be together forever, I promise you. Now, I know you think this is all girly stuff, but you're just, you're going to have to sign off on it because I want our ceremony to be so special no one will ever forget it. <laughs> Looks like Luis has already forgotten it. Look, I, I've got something very important that I need to talk to you about. <gasps> Your bubble's about to burst out a little bit. Okay. Uh, but... I have a few more wedding plans to go Beth. over first. No. Okay? Just can't wait. Oh, baby, I really spell you to be. You didn't answer my question. Hmm? How did you get your memory back? I... I thought I told you. No, actually, you were kind of vague about it. So what happened? Something happened to trigger it, or what? Well, um, not something. Someone. Oh? When I saw their face, um, all my memories came flooding back to me. Well, isn't that exactly what the doctor said would happen? Yeah, that's what the doctor said would happen. Great. Great. So who was it? Oh, wait a second. I know who it was. It was my mother, wasn't it? Your mother? Why would I have seen your mother? Well, because I told you, she she works here at the mansion. And, in fact, that's why I was coming down here to find you, so I could set up a time for you guys to finally meet each other. I don't know anyone on the staff named O'Leary. <laughs> what does she do here? O'Leary is not my mother's name. O'Leary's just the name I took when I left Harmony. Her name's Fitzgerald. Lopez Fitzgerald. Pilari? Laura is your mother? <laughs> Isn't it amazing the connection we have between us? <laughs> Naya, 
Germany charity is about to expire and I can't even enjoy it. You think this is pain, you lot? Ah, well, you just wait and see. You're all going to pay for Tim's death. I'll see to that. And I'm going to love every minute of it. You're all going to suffer. I don't know if I can take this. You got to stay strong, Grace. You got to stay strong. You have a good look, Kay. Look what you've done. I swear, if you don't stop this, I swear. Oh, what? You're going to have me killed, too? Shh. Kay, may I have a word? Yes, Father. I trust you've been thinking about what I said. Of course. It is the only way, my child. If you tell Miguel the truth and do not take advantage of the evil you have wrought, then and only then can I grant you absolution. I keep thinking about all the good times we've had together. Wonderful times. Like that party the last day of our junior year. You remember what a great time that was? When Reese got bit by that crab? Did you ever hear a guy scream like that before? Dr. Russell. She's flatlined. the time. I declare charity Spanish Bennett dead. <laughs> I'll make you feel better, Miguel. You'll see. I'll spend the rest of my life making you happy. Boys, what is it? What? What's going on? The vital magazines are going straight down the trash. Your hopes and dreams. Yeah. I think the best thing to do is just to uh, come straight out with it. <clears throat> it's short and sweet. Simple for a 
life short. Come out with what? Now you're really starting to scare me. Your past. Sheridan's come back. What? She's alive. I was, I was just with her. Sherry. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was as shocked as you are. <laughs> Believe me. She's alive. Yes. you and Tonio for eldest son. Right. Tonio both messages you. Well, if you're Pilar's son Antonio, then that means that you are Luis's brother. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. You are Luis's brother. Emotions run amok. You are Tabitha Lennox. You have to be strong and vengeful. And I will be. I will have my revenge on all those people who took my Timmy away from me. And I curse goodness. Tying my Timmy's life so tightly to charities. Charity, please. Don't leave me. Come back to me, please. Thank you, Michael. She's gone. No. no. Charity's at peace. Please. You know I would have done anything to save her. I know that, Eve. I know you did it. Everything you could to save both Charity and Timmy. Poor little guy. I'll get Charity a death certificate so that you can start making your arrangements. Yeah. Pam, I need a death certificate. I'll get you one right away, Dr. Russell. Excuse me, Dr. Russell. I think you should see this. Please, not right now. I, I can't do any paperwork right now. But it has to do with those two patients of yours. What do you mean? Look. God, I can't believe this. This could change everything. Charity, please. Don't leave me. Miguel y Joven. Let's speak with Father Juan again. Come on. About what? Charity's funeral. No, not yet. Not yet. What, Mom? That's what I was just about to ask you. Standing here, watching you squeeze out those phony tears like you really care. Uh, not of course I care. I never meant for any of this to happen. About a plan backfiring. He loves her now more than he ever has. I'll be upset for a while, but I'll be here and he can cry on my shoulder. And then what? What were you gonna kiss away his tears? So, what's wrong with that? <sighs> you can't see what's wrong with the pain your skin has caused, then you're more despicable than I ever thought. This moment's done is done. Okay, it's time to move on. Miguel's gonna have to do that, and when he does, 
I'll be here with open arms waiting to pop in. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sure am, Doctor. Okay. We're gonna have to hurry. We have to do this as quickly as possible. We don't have much time. I can only imagine how you must feel to have Sheridan back in your life. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, you were lying to your sins, little missy. Luis is gonna dump you like yesterday's trash. And I don't blame him. Why should he settle for chopped liver when he's got caviar back in his life? <laughs> hey, that's really nice of you to say that, Beth. Can we sit down for a minute? Why not? You know, I really appreciate how well you're taking this. Uh, you know, especially considering what it means for us. We were engaged. I'm sorry. Um, did you say were? Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, we're sharing and okay, being back. Just don't Say another word. Break is the angels and the saints. You do hear the prayers of the crippled and the abused. <laughs> just stop me. Well, I just want... Beth, I just want you to understand. Please, you... Louise. I'm not stupid. I understand what Sheridan's being back means. 